And boy, did it not take long for Major League Baseball to have a big time problem. Here is what they're saying. Major League Baseball is seeing its first coronavirus cancellations since the restart of the 2020 season. Look, it took four days. They started the season on Thursday night. The full first opening day was on Friday. Then they played on Saturday. They played on Sunday. And the Miami Marlins home opener today against the Orioles has been postponed, maybe slash canceled, I guess. Uh, Matt said murder hornets by sheer numbers. Michael said I'd take the WCE murder hornets as well. Harder for kill. Believe that. Believe that. But with the Miami Marlins here, we'll explain the situation as best as I can. I tried to read through it. I tried to understand exactly what was happening. It says an outbreak of COVID-19 spread throughout the Miami Marlins clubhouse, bringing the total cases in recent days to at least 13. Sources told ESPN's Jeff Passan and Jesse Rogers. As a result, the Marlins postponed their home opener scheduled for Monday night. The game between the New York Yankees and the Phillies in Philadelphia, where the Marlins played over the weekend, also was postponed. So what does it mean? It goes through a lot of questions here. Does the Marlins' outbreak of positive cases put their season in jeopardy? It says, of course, but that's why there's a taxi squad of up to 30 players. Even if you got to take out every single starter that you got, you still got to roll through the season. It is what it is, right? Next man up, got to keep playing. This one says, what does the Marlins' outbreak mean for the state of the MLB season as a whole? Uh, I mean, we're just going to have to see. You know, if, if the Phillies end up testing positive, okay. Along with that, you had the Marlins that played against the Braves right before that. Well, then the Braves went and played at the Mets over the weekend. You know, uh, that's a ton of teams that could be affected at this point. We'll just have to see what the results are from the Phillies and and everywhere else. So, who knows what uh, what could come out of this. Um, I mean, it's it's massive. They're going to, the MLB is going to try and make up these games. Who knows? Who knows? Michael said, this sucks. It was fun while it lasted. Yeah, it was a fun weekend. I actually got to sit and watch baseball for at least an hour or so. You know, I got to keep up with scores. It was nice to see the the scores scrolling across on the phone, right? And we hadn't really seen that in months at this point. Like, unless you're keeping up with UFC or something like that. But even still, actual team sports, you get to see teams that you know, that you've been watching for years. And that was fun. I got to gamble a little bit. Made a couple of coins, not too shabby, but, you know, now we got to figure out, all right, how are we going to keep doing this? And I'm, I'm watching the A's and the Angels right now, which I had money on the Angels at, at plus money, and they're down three to nothing in the seventh, but either way. Um, Michael said, does this affect the NFL at all? I think the NFL still has their own issues to deal with, but I don't think that this is a good look for anybody. I think this could end up affecting college football. This could end up affecting NFL. This could... I don't know that it'll affect the NBA because they're starting up this weekend, but we'll see what happens. We will have to see what happens because right now we don't really know anything other than the Marlins have 13 guys that have tested positive, and it could be even more. You know, we're still waiting on other tests from them. We're going to see what happens. I am livid at this. They made a decision um, on Sunday to go ahead and play even though multiple players have tested positive. So it says there's no rule in place that players can't participate as they await test results, but playing could have been a mistake. It says Miami had multiple positives before Sunday's game, and the contest went on as scheduled. Perhaps any time that happens, it should trigger an automatic postponement. Another red flag here is that even if you test every day, people do not necessarily exhibit symptoms or trigger positive tests right away. Inevitably, infected players will take the field without anyone, including themselves, knowing that they have contracted the virus. To say that this lag is problematic would be a massive understatement, but of course, that's where all the other protocols, masking, distancing, sanitizing, take on added importance. Along with this, uh, Damian jumps in. He said, what's up? Nice to see you, Damian. Along with this, with the Marlins, the Phillies came out and... What's the good... What, what's the word I'm looking for here? They were they were being a little petty, but they were they were ratting out the Marlins, as they should at this point. But they completely ratted them out, told everybody that, you know, they weren't social distancing, they weren't staggering their arrival times at the uh, at the park. They, you know, they were not following the protocols that MLB put in place. So, of course, it makes sense that the whole team basically got infected. You've got a, a 30-man roster. Now, you don't take all of them with you, but you got 30 guys, 13 of them. 
13 of them have got positive tests now. I mean, what the hell are you supposed to do? I, it drives me nuts. Michael said, sounds like the Marlins eliminated themselves from the season. Well, I mean, at least from the postseason. Um, you know, again, it's next man up. You still got 17 healthy dudes, or so we think. I mean, we're still waiting on tests and whatnot, but good gracious. Uh, <laughs> Michael said, someone needs to tell the Phillies snitches get stitches. Hey, at this point, normally I would agree with you. However, with this situation, I mean, this could cost the MLB their entire season. If they don't have a season, these players don't get paid. You know, that is a problem. And if it's up, if it's the players that cost these guys the season, I mean, that's that's an even bigger problem. This is an absolute disaster because it could end up costing us football. It could end up costing us all kinds of things. It could cost us the rest of the MLB season if they decide that uh, these protocols are not enough. That's what I'm worried about. So, obviously, something to pay attention to. We're going to be talking about it over the next few days. Since Matt is on here, I hope he's, uh, hope he's still watching.